Hello, and today I got another character trial aptitude showcase to show you guys today. If you want to know how to get to these, all you have to do is go to the normal banner warp that is in the left side of the screen. It's the very bottom that says regular. You click on character trial and you can go down and see the rest of the other character trials here. I'm going to do Branyan's today. So we're going to start and do Branyan's character trial. Uh, this is for a character. If no one has her, I did pull her. I got her for the 300 thing. Once you get 300 summons and stuff. So Bran, she is a wind harmony user. She allows a single ally to immediately take action and increase their damage. She increases the attack and crit damage of all allies. And she's able to dispel one debuff. Which is pretty cool. So let's hit the tab and see what the developers think of what Branya is able to do. So this is, these are her stats. This is her stats right here. Her crit damage is very high at 176. Their attack and speed, regeneration rate is 129. Effect hit rate and effect res. And she's getting a little bit of wind damage boost. Okay, okay, I see you. I see you. So this is her basic attack. Deals uh, wind damage equal to 90% of Brian's attack to a single enemy. The crit rate for the basic attack is increased to 100%. She will always do crits with her basic attack. She always do a crit. Always. Always. Unless it... No, it's always. This is her skill. She dispels a debuff from a single ally and allows them to immediately take action and increase their damage by 57% for one turn. And then when the skill is used on Branya herself, it can't uh, cannot immediately take action. Her ultimate increases the attack of all allies by 49% and increases their crit damage equal to 15% of Branya's crit damage plus 18% for two turns. This is her technique. At the, after using Branya's technique, at the start of the next battle, all allies' attack is increased by 15% for two turns. Her talent, after using her basic attack, Branya's action will be advanced forward by 26%. At the start of the battle, all allies' defense increases by 20% for two turns. And then when Branya is on the field, all allies' damage deal 10% more damage. Oh wow, her skills are none but easy and simple, No pair, not long paragraphs, but this is what she's able to do. Let's take a look at her light cone. This is the light cone that you can buy in the store if you get enough pull points for pulling on characters for the warp events and stuff. You, it costs like 600 warp event points and then you can buy this light cone. Or if you lose the 50-50 on just about the normal banner or any other banner or the weapon banner you can pull this light cone but it's a a chance or uh, whatever so increase the wares so let's see what it does but the battle isn't over that's the name of this light cone weird name but the battle isn't over increase the wares energy regeneration rate by 10 percent and regenerates one skill point when the wearer uses their ultimate on an ally this is really good so the skill point is only once this effect can only be triggered once every two turns of the wearer's ultimate so you have to use it once and then you get it and then you have to use it two more times to and then you get it on the third to get it again when the wearer uses their skill the next ally taking action except the dan uh, except the wearer deals 30 percent more damage so this light cone only works on other affected users and that's it the traces, they're all never maxed out. They will never be maxed out. The relics, these are what she's using. And then the Eidolons. Let's take a look at her Eidolons because it's fun to take a look at the allies. Just to imagine if she was at E6 or whatever. Like, if they just allowed you to play a full power, full blown powerful character at the start at these character trials, it'd be so cool to have to see these characters at their full potential and not at their weak potential. So at E1, uh, when she uses her skill, there's a 50% chance for recovering one skill point. This effect has a one turn cooldown. This is really cool. This is really cool if you get her E1. 
If you get her to E2 when using skill, the target ally speed is increased by 30% after taking ash action lasting for one turn. So this is really good too. More speed, uh, another skill point, which is cool. This is just upping that. But this is where it gets interesting with her. She becomes a follow-up attacker now. She becomes a follow-up. She does follow-up attacks. After an ally other than Branya uses a basic attack on an enemy with a wind weakness, Branya launch immediately launches a follow-up attack on the target dealing wind damage equal to 80% of Branya's basic attack damage. This effect can only be triggered one time per turn. So that means that's one time every turn. <laughs> Just about. So that means the other she can do a follow-up attack three times if they all attack the win user that has a win weakness this is pretty cool but you got to get her to e4 so you mean you have to fail a lot of pulling on the 50 50s to get get her to e4 this is her unstoppable and then e6 the duration of the damage boost placed on this skill adds whatever increases one this is this is where it makes her become an attacker is getting the e4 once you get e4 she does follow up attacks and then take a look at Natasha. Natasha is almost in every video except unless they start using Lynx or some other healer. So, and then Don Hong. This is basic Don Hong. Basic. He's very basic. Basic. Basic Don Hong. This is basic Don Hong. So, uh, let's start the fight. The speed is going to be there. This is what she looks like when she does her thing. We're going to zoom up a little bit. Show your courage. She puts out a Show flag like she is a flag bearer with a flag bearer gives out morale But most of the time they get shot up and get killed pretty easily in that sort of situation But hey, this is a video game. So or then she's gonna shoot <laughs> uh, She's gonna shoot I might be wrong on any of my information. This is just me playing a game So this is her skills and stuff like that for Branya. Uh Move carefully. We have it at times two speed for everybody so they can have the speed because remember, you got to have the speed to be able to do any speed. <laughs> remember, you got to have speed. Because uh, everybody loves speed. For Don't some hesitate. fucking reason, everybody loves speed. But I, I just, you know, you know what? Just despite everybody who watches this video, I'm just going to play at normal speed. <laughs> All right. So uh, if you like my video, like and subscribe. Become a follower or whatever. But uh, we're going to do Don Hong's. We're not going to buff him yet because we want him to do his buff on his ultimate. So we're going to wait until we can get this stuff filled up. So we're going to just do this. We're just going to attack. Attack. I wonder if he's going to hit Natasha with his arrows. Yep, it's Clemency. Never do his thing again. Uh, then we're going to attack again. And then we're going to shoot. Watching. Yeah, Natasha gets hit. Troublesome. Then it gets there. Then uh, we can actually. We cannot. We're just going to Evil attack. Doer. It's too late to repent. We're going to do his thing here. <laughs> Now we can actually do her do his thing. Click here. The time is now. Lend me your strength. Step aside. I have no interest in stoking conflict. Dang it. His ultimate's not up. Ah, I messed that up. His ultimate's not up yet. So we wanted to do it when his ultimate's up to get that extra damage boost. But he doesn't get it now for two turns. It takes forever to get his ultimate up. Going to attack. Now he's gonna get back up. Because now we gotta wait two turns for Don Hong's ability. His ability is kind of it's kind of lame. <laughs> it takes two turns to do it. Um, we're gonna do his. We're gonna do his. We're just going to. We're gonna do we Brian's ultimate. We're gonna do this. To guard and defend. Crush them. We crush them. 
We're gonna just do his thing there. And then we're gonna support. The time is now. Lend me your strength. Then he gets another attack. The then truth of life ultimate. and death revealed in it. This sanctuary is but a vision. Right. And then there we go. So there you go. That's the video. So if you like this character aptitude trial video, I would like to say thank you guys for checking out today's video. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.